Hey guys, what is up and welcome to another Jailbreak video. Hey, uh, today we are going to talk about the new uh, Jailbreak, I guess you could call it. Uh, it's called Electra, and uh, it actually came out for the iPhone uh, or the iOS 11.1.2 down to iOS 11. So anything pre-11, uh, pre, uh, it's not going to work for. This is specifically and solely for iOS 11.1.2 through 11.0. So anywhere in between that, you should be covered. You should be able to use Electra. Uh, I just want to show you this is my iPhone 6s Plus, and you can see I have Electra right there. Uh, and the theme that I have right here is a uh, Kimpy, and uh, I will leave a link to uh, Snowden's Twitter. That way you can pick it up from his Twitter. He actually made it public yesterday and gave away all the uh, dev files. So uh, you just download that to your computer, and then you SSH into uh, SS SSH it into your uh, iPhone. So uh, I'm gonna switch devices around real quick and uh, we're gonna jump into it and I'm gonna show you how to uh, get it and I'm gonna put it on my uh, 8 Plus right here that I'm uh, filming with and uh, hopefully we can get it all uh, situated and I can have, I can be able to give you all a pretty step-by-step uh, -step detailed tutorial on how you're able to download your themes onto your uh, jailbroken device without there being a city as of right now. So uh, stick around guys, let's get into it. Hey guys, so jumping into my iPhone 8, you're going to see right here, I'm going to do a, uh, just show you quickly that I do not have Electra on any of my pages. And uh, I'm also going to jump into the settings app and I'm going to show you that my device is on 11.1.2, as you can see right there. So now we're going to exit out of this and we're going to go into the uh, computer view of it. So on your home screen or wherever you look at your Twitter or whatnot, go over to a uh, Coolstar org, uh, his Twitter, and he's the one that released this Electra. Electra, and uh, if you just uh, go down his Twitter, you should be able to find uh, his website to where you can download the uh, the Electra Beta Five IPA. And uh, so I'm gonna start scrolling right here, and let's see, about 20 hours ago. Yeah, so about 20 hours ago, uh, you can see right there, he has a link to the Electra website. And once you get to the website, then all you're going to want to do is just hit download right there, and it should start your download into your uh, download folder. So uh, I'm going to open this up. I think I have it in here, and I do not. So back to my home screen right here. Um, you can see I actually have it highlighted right there on the uh, home screen of my computer. So I'm going to unplug my iPhone right here and plug it back in. That way I can, uh, that way Cydia Impactor actually registers my device. Okay, so now that my device is registered, now I'm just going to drag the Electra Beta 5 IPA into my uh, City Impactor. And I'm going to fast forward this or blur it out. That way, y'all can't see my email address. And after I hit enter, then uh, you can see it just starts unpacking all of the uh, packages into my iPhone now. Okay, boom, there it is right there. Electra has popped up. And now you just want to click Electra, Untrusted Developer. And uh, so right here, you just want to go into your general and uh, you want to go into your uh, device, profile device management, and you just want to allow it. So I'm gonna fast forward this too. So once again, you don't do not see my. So once it's uh, accepted and you've allowed or trusted the, uh, the uh, profile, on your device management. You just go back into Electra and then all you have to do is hit jailbreak.
and this could take a couple minutes or so. I did this on my uh, iPhone 6s Plus and it actually took me probably uh, three minutes. You can see right here on my 8 Plus, it didn't even take me half that time. Maybe uh, 60 seconds, one minute, give or take. And uh, once it respringed, when it resprings, then you can uh, get back into your phone and swipe over and it should say already jailbroken and it does. So uh, now, basically it's, it didn't add anything but anemone right here. And uh, you can go into it and it's just like it normally is. Uh, the only thing is, is you're not going to have any packages. So now you just want to hop back over into your computer and you want to open up an application called Cyberduck. You can find it on the internet, just download a uh, version of it. And once you open Cyberduck, it'll come up with a uh, screen like this. And uh, you will need your iPhone's IP address. You can uh, Google where to find your IP address. Basically, if you're connected to Wi-Fi, if you hit the little information tab on the side of it, uh, your IP address will be under that menu right there. So I'm going to open this, uh, or I'm going to click this button right here that says Open Connection. And I'm going to enter my IP address. And I'm also going, the username for a standard iPhone is root. And the password is alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E. And that is what comes issued to any IP address. Uh, you might want to consider changing it after this. I did change it, so I'm going to skip ahead of this. That way uh, you can't see my username or password. Also remember to change the port to 22. And then once you hit enter, then you just hit allow because that's for a, uh, something else, I guess. Uh, and then you want to go up here. You want to change that to a slash. And then if you scroll down, you can see library. And you want to scroll down some more, and then you see themes. If you haven't added a theme in here yet, this theme folder will be blank. And uh, here is where uh, you just take the theme that you downloaded. Uh, I have Kimpy from Snowden. I got it off of his Twitter yesterday. And uh, you just want to take the theme and drag it inside of the uh, theme folder. And then once you do that, then you just uh, go back to your iPhone and respring. Uh, or restart anemone and then you should see the theme or the themes that you drug into the folder you should see them now in anemone and you can see boom I have can't be right there so I just hit uh, allow or enable, and then I have both settings right there that I transferred over. I can preview it, and then I just hit apply. And then it respring's, of course, and then boom. There you have it, guys, and that is how you do it. Uh, if, as long as you have the file for that specific package or spe uh, specific theme that you're going for, you can uh, you can SSH it to your device. So that is all. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for uh, subscribing to the channel if you have. Uh, leave a like. Let me know what theme you're rocking. And uh, as always, don't forget to subscribe because once uh, Cydia drops and the substrate is updated, I will be sure to be uh, posting a video on my YouTube channel. Turn on the bells if you... Uh, if you uh, want to be up to date right whenever it drops, because I will make a jailbreak video right when it drops. And uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Later.